We all have a story. We all experience life. It's a journey. Sometimes we must share our stories. So let's have a conversation. We need some grown folk talk. And welcome to Grown Folk Talk. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. You could have been doing so many other things, but you're here with us. And guess what? You will remember, if you have watched before, that I had the pleasure of having Carola and Stephen Liu in, on my show, on, on this show, talking about the beauty of marriage. And they are back. Guess who's back? <laughs> Woo! And Welcome back, back, guys, and happy to be back, happy Carola back. said. So we talked about, so I'm your host, Patrice Frith Haywood, and I'm just so excited that I just want to like jump right in. Well, jump, be- girl, I'm girl. jumping. I am jumping. <laughs> because if, if you will remember, if you were watching that, the lows, they were on the brink of divorce. I know that sounds so dramatic, but it is what happened. And yeah, they were there. Like Stephen was a phone call away from a lawyer and, and they didn't even know why they were breaking up, you lot. They just, something mm. went wrong. Somebody wasn't yeah. talking. Yeah. Somebody yeah. didn't say something. Exactly. They didn't know why they were breaking up. Exactly. Thankfully, somebody got some common sense. They came to the senses. And here we are, <laughs> 27, 27 years of marriage from yeah. going to, the, from the brink of divorce yeah. to to now 27 years and, and running a marriage ministry and coaching mm-hmm. couples mm-hmm. on how to have a beautiful marriage. So yes, welcome yeah. back, Carola and Stephen. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank us. you. Happy to be, to be back. back. It's my pleasure. I mean, because we left, when we left last time, we covered so much, but still not enough. So mm-hmm. we didn't get to how you didn't kill him, but took him, <laughs> but oh, that's where I thought it was going. How you didn't throw the glass. And so that's where I felt it was going. Like mm-hmm. somebody was going to call a lawyer probably for divorce, somebody for murder. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I'm just saying. But <laughs> thankfully, you guys are here. And it is such yeah. a pleasure to have you. So okay. let's just pick up where we left off. Sure. sure. Okay? So if for, let's just assume some people didn't catch the story. You were married almost seven years, decided. You don't even know what you decided. It just wasn't working. It, wasn't it got working. really bad. No got communication. Really bad. Sleeping in the same bed. Eating at the same table. Mm-hmm. Going to church together. Mm-hmm. Going to church together every Sunday. Mm-hmm. But still, not communicating, marriage was a mess. Marriage was on the rocks. Total withdrawal. Total withdrawal, and marriage had gotten ugly. Mm-hmm. And then you said, Carola, that you decided one day, I want this man. Yes. I want my marriage. Indeed. And now I have to do the work because he had checked out, as you say, mm-hmm. emotionally and everything else mm-hmm. and was about to check out physically. Mm-hmm. And so but what we talked about was something that you two shared that says love is a complicated infrastructure. It's a thing that you're either building up or letting fall into decay. What makes love strong are the deeds done in every in the everyday walk of life Mm -hmm. what makes it beautiful is two unique people coming together and making their own unique kind of love indeed it doesn't come from textbooks or formulas or to-do lists sure so (laughs) with that did you have that in mind when you decided i'm fighting for my marriage today was that was that or did that come later i think that came a little bit later but that was the process. That was the process. Building okay. The infrastructure. Got you. Yes. Because <laughs> as, according as we talk about infrastructure, you said you knew what you wanted your home to look exactly. like. Happy children, music playing. Right. People coming in and saying, "Hi, honey. How was your day? Exactly. I missed you today." Exactly. All of that, and that was not happening. It was. But that's happening. what you wanted. Exactly. And so we got to that hall. A lot of hard work. Hard work. Sacrifice. Sacri- it- what did you sacrifice? You. Be- and I want to ask the rest, sure. did you sacrifice that, you know what, if he wants to go, let him go. Mm. Okay, ace boy, all right, that's like, um, go ahead. But then you sacrifice that he'll need to be right, need to get him back, mm. all of that. That's yeah. what I get yeah. from it. And I could be wrong, putting we words in my mouth. Shut mouth grace. Shut yeah. mouth grace. Indeed. Okay, Indeed. okay. Indeed. And so... You did the work. And I what did, did the, the work. work look like? The work looked like treating him like I wanted to be treated. Oh. Even. Yeah, bigger woman than me. I wasn't being treated at all. <laughs> you were not being at treated all. at all, but you were still saying what? What were you saying to him? Honey, what would you like for dinner? Oh. Um, she called honey, him honey. Well, well, well th- th- let's get the record straight, honey. She would say, <laughs> what's going for dinner? <laughs> Oh, she didn't put the honey But at least, at least we were talking. Right, right. Let's at not least change there was history co- here. Because all up to this point, it's been all honey. my fault. You don't I remember honey? honey? No, you said honey. I think the arguing you love, well, I'm not sure. Say, but no, we're not arguing. arguing. We're not arguing. <laughs> But it's okay. It's okay. There's a difference. There's a difference. But that's Let's, keep the record straight. Let's yeah. not rewrite history. Uh, it was yes. a hard time, actually. 
Yes. Yeah, I had to treat so him you like started, he was my friend. You had to treat him like he was yes. your friend. You said you wanted your best friend back. Exactly. And isn't that exactly. what marriage should be? More than just lovers, more than that's my husband, that's my wife, mm. my friend. All right? of that. Mm-hmm. But the only way to get there, what people don't understand perhaps or forget, mm-hmm. is that this is a relationship that you're even making a positive point or a mm-hmm. positive impact on your spouse or yes. a negative impact mm-hmm. on your spouse. Right, absolutely. Whether you're awake, whether you're talking to them, whether you're in their presence uh-huh. or not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every That's interaction right. that we have as husband and wife is even putting, like, so to speak, credits into her love it, bank. Yes. Ooh. Where I'm concerned. Ooh. Or love I'm taking out debit exactly. right. out of right. that love exactly. bank. And she could go overdrawn. Exactly. Or you, you get to could go overdrawn. Then that's you're in trouble. That's, the trouble. that's the right. Trouble. You're in that's trouble. trouble. But that's something that's running all the time in your relationship. Exactly. Yes, it is. Exactly. And um, it's something that we fail to actually address sometimes. And, and a lot of times, I would imagine, that happens because everything's all right. Everything's cool. We don't need to talk you about it. Hear that. You but, right. Yeah. But is everything really cool? Is exactly. everything really all right? Because and, if you're not talking, exactly. you don't know and what you're not talking that, about. Poor communication. Poor communication. Mm-hmm. You get that um, perfect story. Right. Mm-hmm. So you went to, um, from him getting ready to call a lawyer to, mm-hmm. honey, what would you like for dinner? Basically. Or what would you like for dinner? Let's leave the honey off. <laughs> yeah, let's get it right. Let's get it right. Let's get that right. I was right. saying honey in my mind. In your mind, but it just didn't come out. Okay. All right. So, and then what was, so first time she said it, were you like, okay, is she about to poison me? What was your thought? Yeah, yeah. I did one Because you hadn't like, been asking. Yeah, I did the to Tim Allen. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> what, what? Okay, this is different. This is right. Different. This hasn't been happening. And in my mind, I was saying it wouldn't last. Mm. Oh, you thought there was just, what's she trying? So I'd say, uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Your response would be, yeah? Because, again, remember, the walls yeah, yeah, are yeah, up. Yeah, I get it. I don't want to hurt uh-huh, and be hurt uh-huh. and be rejected again, right. or what, again in my right. mind. So mm. I'm like, you know, just very tentative about the whole thing. It was a yes. long way back. Right. And very so he back. said, yeah, and you cooked dinner. And I cooked dinner. <laughs> she said it. She didn't open her teeth. <laughs> Clenched teeth. And you cooked dinner. Did you watch her? Like making sure she wasn't poisoning you? No, 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 no. no. Again, she needed me for the bills. Oh, I see. See, so and I that was your thought. Your... Was okay. <laughs> well, you have an insurance policy. You'll be worth more. Yes. But that's a different story. Yes. So you cooked dinner for this man who had not been speaking to you, not all of right. that. And, and so there are probably some people who were saying, mm, she's dead. She's out of her mind. Yeah, probably. Okay. And you can, it's all right for them to say because it's not their marriage. Mm, absolutely. It wasn't yeah. their marriage. Absolutely. And so you absolutely. decided to cook. And did you sit and eat together or did he yeah. grab it and go inside or something? It, yeah, it depended because a lot of times well, I was working late. There. That uh-huh. was another escape for me to yes. stay on the job, work late. Oh, um, you would stay late at work oh, yeah. not to go home? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And you just thought he was just working late? Yeah, that's what he did. Okay, so you cooked tonight, and then tomorrow was again, what would you like to eat? Yeah, it was, you know, a constant repetition uh-huh. of mm. um, treating this man um, like he was my friend and not my enemy. Like he was your friend and not your enemy, mm-hmm. because you had become the enemy. Oh, yeah. As you said, or, oh, yeah. you were sleeping with the enemy. Yeah. And so did that, what did that do for you? Oh, with, that, like each day? You know, that started okay. to tip the scale. Did it really? And I really started to think, okay, you know what? Um, yeah, maybe she really does care. And that yeah. little glimmer of hope started yeah. to come. Again, after a time. Right. It, it took a while. We're sitting here talking right. about it now, but mm-hmm. looking back. Right, it was a it while. It took mm-hmm. a while, yeah. So was there ever a time that you reciprocated? Did you ever say, um, would you like for me to do whatever? Absolutely. You Absolutely. did? Okay. Yeah. Okay. After okay. I saw that there was a pattern and that she was okay. being true and authentic, uh-huh. okay. um, that got me thinking. And remember, we're Christian, so we did yes, that's try right. to treat each other properly right. and all the rest of it. Okay. But when so I we'll, saw that that was changing, yeah. I yeah, then you started. Yeah. All right, so we have to take a break. We are going to break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about how you then started building it back up because sure. that's some. Because I'm saying I don't know that I would have been that woman. But I didn't have to be. All right? So you are watching Grown Folk Talk, and we are going to break. And when we come back, we're going to continue our conversation with the Lewis about getting to a beautiful marriage. Don't miss it. Grown Folk Talk will be back after these messages. <laughs> 